Today I'll be showing you how to make this budget load cell handbrake at half the cost of other leading name brands. Stick around for the build and I'll show you the steps to make your own. Before we begin, here are the list of parts that you're going to need for this project. I'll also include the STL file for the 3D printed enclosure I created to house the electronics. Starting with the disassembly of the handbrake, you will need to remove the base and the rear plate. The base plate being held with three screws on each side and the rear plate being held with two screws on each side. Please take note that you do need to save the six screws that you removed from the base plate. To help you get the proper dimensions of the mount that you will be making, take the load cell along with the bolt and install it onto the handbrake. Once that's done, you can take your handbrake and mount it on top of the angle bar. This is where you're going to get your measurement for where you will set your punch marks to drill your holes through. Now once you have that, go ahead and cut two of the profile pieces for the left and the right side. To get the measurement for the load cell bracket, you can take the width from the rear plate you previously removed from the handbrake and transfer it to the angle bar. Make sure to double check that your cut bracket fits in between both the left and right plates after cutting. To make the mounting holes, you can take the specs from the load cell and drill your holes according to the dimensions provided. Take note, you will have to shorn the width of each plate on the base as they will be too wide and will overlap each other. Once that's done, weld the plates together to finish making your mount. Now to put this all together, keep in mind the load cell has a specific direction it will measure the force. Follow the arrow's directions for where the force will be applied. Take the mount and insert two M6 bolts and secure the load cell to the mount. Take a M5 bolt and nut, then install it so the nut is on the outside of the plate. Repeat for all six holes. Take the bushings and install them with washers as follows. Taking the M8 bolt and threading slightly into the handbrake. Loosen the two side M6 slide guide bolts and insert the two M8 nuts as follows. Then, reassemble the hole brake. Now for the electronics, first working with the HX711 amplifier board, you will need to make a slight modification in its clock speed. To do this, you will need to lift pin 15, which is the rate speed, and short it to pin 16, which is the VCC or power, as shown in the diagram. In my build, I have the load cell connecting through the RJ12, following the same color wire scheme. Solder your wires using the following diagram. Once it is all soldered, you can install the boards into the enclosure and secure each board using double-sided tape. The Arduino will perfectly sit on the raft created in the 3D printed STL file. Close up the electronics box using four M3 screws. Moving to the Arduino code using Arduino IDE, copy the INO provided courtesy of GP Race Simulation. Take note you can adjust the sensitivity by changing the number under the calibration factor. Play with this number until you find what best suits your desired pull strength. Next, make sure your pins are inputted correctly for the data out and clock. These are the same pins from the HX711 going to your Arduino in pins AO and A1. Once you're done, make sure to check your settings before writing to the board, then click upload. Now time to test. Install the RJ12 from the load cell into the electronics box and then the USB into the Arduino. Open up your game controllers and try out your load cell.
There you have it, an Urbenstein handbrake. Hopefully that helped you guys out. You can make your own load cell handbrake for half the cost. So yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Hit that like button, subscribe. Also check out my other channel, twitch.tv forward slash urban grit. And as always, wherever you are in the world, have a good day, a good evening, a good night. Take it easy, stay safe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.